Did you know that every 73 seconds an American is sexually assaulted, and 9 out of 10 victims are women? This alarming statistic underscores the critical importance of self-defense for women. It's a sobering reality, but one we must confront head-on. The world isn't always a safe place, and women are disproportionately targeted. Self-defense for women is not just about knowing how to fight back. It's about empowerment, confidence, and freedom. It's about claiming our space in the world without fear. Self-defense is a broad term that encompasses a variety of strategies, from physical techniques to psychological tactics, from understanding the dynamics of a potential attack to using tools and technology to our advantage. It's about being aware of our surroundings, trusting our instincts, and having the confidence to assert ourselves when necessary. Physical self-defense may involve learning how to strike at an attacker's vulnerable spots, such as the eyes, nose, throat, solar plexus, groin, and knees. But it's equally important to understand the psychological aspects of self-defense. Attackers often use lures to lower a potential victim's guard. Recognizing these tactics and standing firm can be a powerful deterrent. Technology, too, plays a critical role in self-defense today. Personal alarms, self-defense apps, and safety wearables are just a few examples of how technology can bolster our self-defense strategies, giving us an extra layer of protection and a means to call for help when we need it. In a world where women are often the target, self-defense isn't just a skill, it's a necessity. We owe it to ourselves to understand the importance of self-defense, to explore our options, and to equip ourselves with the knowledge, skills, and tools that can help keep us safe. There's a saying that the best defense is a good offense. In the context of self-defense, this means being aware, prepared, and ready to act. Today we're going to discuss some of the top self-defense strategies that can empower you and increase your chances of staying safe. Firstly, awareness is key. Being aware of your surroundings can help you spot potential dangers before they become a threat. This means paying attention to the people around you, the layout of your location, and any potential exits. It's not about being paranoid, it's about being prepared. Next, let's talk about confident body language. Walk with purpose, make eye contact, and show that you're alert. This can deter potential attackers, as they often prey on those who seem vulnerable or distracted. Remember, confidence can be your shield. Understanding distance is also crucial. In a dangerous situation, the more distance you can put between yourself and an attacker, the better. This can give you more time to react, escape, or call for help. So, always be aware of your personal space and respect it. Another important strategy is knowing how to deny openings for an attack. This could mean avoiding dark, isolated areas or keeping your personal belongings close to your body to prevent theft. It's about making yourself a difficult target. Lastly, remember the power of no. If someone is making you uncomfortable, don't be afraid to assert your boundaries. Trust your instincts. If something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. These strategies, combined with the right self-defense techniques, can provide women with the confidence and knowledge needed to defend themselves in a dangerous situation. Remember, the aim is not to become a martial arts expert, but to equip yourself with the basic skills and knowledge that can help you stay safe because in the end, your safety is worth fighting for. In our digital age, technology has become a powerful tool for personal safety. It's no longer just about physical strength or agility. Now, our smartphones and wearables can play a crucial role in self-defense. Let's explore some of the self-defense technologies particularly useful for women. First, we have personal alarms. These devices, often small enough to fit on a keychain, emit a loud noise when triggered. This sound can deter potential attackers and draw attention from bystanders. Some models even include additional features like strobe lights to disorient assailants. Next, we look at self-defense apps. These handy programs turn your smartphone into a personal safety device. Apps like SafeTrek and BeSafe offer features such as real-time GPS tracking, discrete alarm activation, and the ability to instantly alert emergency contacts. They provide an extra layer of security, especially when walking alone or in unfamiliar areas. Finally, we delve into the world of safety wearables. These innovative devices, ranging from smart jewelry to watches, offer a blend of fashion and function. They can send distress signals, share your location with trusted contacts, and some even have built-in alarms. They're practical, discreet, and can seamlessly integrate into your daily routine. But remember, while these technologies can enhance personal safety, they should be used in conjunction with traditional self-defense strategies. They don't replace the importance of being aware of your surroundings, trusting your instincts, 
and understanding how to physically protect yourself if necessary. The beauty of these technologies lies in their convenience and ease of use. They're designed to be accessible, user-friendly, and most importantly, efficient at enhancing personal security. They empower women by providing practical tools that can help deter potential threats and alert others when help is needed. With these technologies, women can feel safer and more empowered, knowing they have the tools to protect themselves. One organization that is making strides in women's self-defense is ESD Global Inc. This group is dedicated to the cause of empowerment self-defense, or ESD for short, and they've positioned it as a key strategy in preventing violence. ESD Global Inc. isn't just any organization. It's a globally recognized entity that has won accolades for its work in the field of self-defense. It's led by Yehudit Siddiqman, a woman of influence who has been acknowledged as one of the top 50 influential women in Israel and has been awarded the Witso Jerusalem Woman of the Year. The organization's work extends beyond self-defense training. They're actively involved in education and advocacy, working tirelessly to spread the word about the importance of self-defense and its role in preventing violence. In October 2021, they chose Prague as the venue for the Violence Prevention Education Conference, a platform for global leaders to discuss strategies and solutions for violence prevention. The impact of their work is far-reaching. ESD Global is collaborating with activists and institutions across various countries like Serbia, Albania, England, and Belgium. Their goal is to provide ESD training, empowering women and giving them the tools they need to defend themselves. ESD isn't just about physical responses to violence, it's a comprehensive approach that includes intuition, boundary setting, and de-escalation. It's about teaching individuals how to interrupt violence before it escalates. This kind of training can reduce fear and anxiety while also boosting self-esteem, assertiveness, and confidence. Despite the challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic, ESD Global continued to deliver their training both online and in person. They adapted to the crisis, showing their commitment to their cause. And the result? A significant increase in the number of women who are now equipped with the knowledge and skills to defend themselves. ESD Global Inc. is leading the charge in empowering women through self-defense, showing what can be achieved when technology and training come together. We've discussed the importance of self-defense for women, explored strategies, and looked at how technology can empower us. Let's recap the key points and remember the crucial role each one plays in our personal safety. We started by emphasizing the importance of self-defense for women, understanding how critical it is to be prepared and aware of our surroundings. We learned that self-defense isn't just about physical strength, but also about using our instincts, maintaining a confident body language, and denying openings for attack. We then dove into practical self-defense strategies. We learned about the vulnerable spots of attackers and how to exploit them. We also talked about how important it is to say no and mean it, and how understanding distance is a key skill in self-defense. Our journey then took us to the world of technology, exploring how it can empower us in our quest for personal safety. We discovered personal alarms, self-defense apps, and safety wearables, all designed to enhance our security. We learned how these tools can discreetly activate an alarm, provide real-time GPS tracking, and alert our emergency contacts when we need help. We also looked at ESD Global Inc., an organization that has taken empowerment and self-defense to the next level. We learned about their work in violence prevention and how their training can help us interrupt violence through intuition, boundary setting, de-escalation, and physical responses. Remember, self-defense is not just about physical strength. It's about awareness, preparation, and having the right tools at your disposal. Stay safe, stay strong, and remember, you have the power to defend yourself. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels. Stay safe, everyone.